For 364 days of the year, Joe Biden goes around Washington telling everybody he's a Puerto Rican truck driving Jewish professor who was raised in a black church. But once a year, every year, Biden taps into his roots. He's an Irishman. There's no holiday the president loves more than St. Patrick's Day. It's the one day of the year he doesn't have to pretend. He just tells folk tales from the old country. There are all kinds of Irish, old Irish sayings, but my grandfather Finney used to say, may the hinge of our friendship never go rusty. He had all these sayings, you know, the Irish in America sometimes think they're more Irish than the Irish. The president's always felt the luck of the Irish. His whole career, he's failed up. But today wasn't his lucky day. A judge gave Democrats the sweetest ultimatum after a sex scandal rocked one of their biggest cases. Either D.A. Fannie Willis steps down, jeopardizing the whole Trump case in Georgia, or lover boy Nathan Wade steps down and the case goes on. What do you think happened? Lover boy packed his bags. The Biden campaign may think this is a victory, but it's not. It's like, you know, finding two people in a, in a bank vault and taking one off to jail. They both testified in the same way. They were the two parts of this uh, this relationship, and yet only one of them uh, was disqualified. Why should Willis escape that same penalty? It, it, the opinion leaves this feeling like the court went and shot the wounded. The Fulton County judge, Scott McAfee, says Fannie was unprofessional, made plenty of prejudicial and legally improper bad choices, and had a tremendous lapse in judgment that infected the case with impropriety. And Fannie and Wade's testimony had an odor of mendacity, meaning it stank to high heaven. But he's letting her stay on to prosecute Trump, even though she hired her secret unqualified boy toy and billed the taxpayers while he colluded with the White House. Only one liar can prosecute the case. Two lying prosecutors create a conflict. What? Even the media is saying if this was any other DA, career ender. I'd be breathing a sigh of relief, but Sarah earlier said there's some bruising involved. Wow, is there some bruising? Any one of these statements by a judge would be a career ender for a normal prosecutor to have an on the record finding that there are reasonable questions about whether you lied under oath. Uh, that would be that would be devastating. Fannie survived for now. The people prosecuting Trump, both Fannie and Biden, are openly breaking the law and getting away with it. The optics alone hand Trump a major victory. Look, even though she's going to stay on the case, all of this, it's really a gift to former President Trump and his co-defendants because they're not only going to fight this case on the merits, they fight it in the court of public opinion. Optics here matter. This was a white judge in a heavily African-American county. He takes out a black DA with Fannie's fame. He's off the bench. So what he did was punt the Fannie investigation. The Georgia State Senate has already opened up its own investigation into Fannie's office. They have subpoena power, meaning we may get our hands on over 10,000 text messages between Fannie and Loverboy from before she was appointing him special counsel. Not only will these salacious texts prove they were romantically involved and lied under oath, these texts could provide the smoking gun evidence that these two had a political and a financial motive to prosecute Trump. It would literally spell out how crooked and conniving these anti-Trump prosecutions are. The explosiveness of that evidence would make all of the other Trump cases collateral damage, taking them out like hot shrapnel and impugning the integrity of the entire Biden legal machine. But it's not just one Georgia investigation of Fannie. Georgia's governor can appoint a special prosecutor. And Georgia's attorney general can open up an investigation with subpoena and search warrant power, getting us the text, emails, physical computers and phones. And the whole Fulton County DA's office would get hauled in to testify in front of a grand jury. With all of that evidence, all you have to prove now is the appearance of impropriety. When you bring lover boy in to testify, drawing blanks won't cut it. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever? Ever.
No. You've never gone to a cabinet with this No. Now, the last time Fannie was put on the stand, it nearly blew up their whole case. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this, it, it, it is a lie. It is, it is a lie. lie. I can remember us going, I think the restaurant's Lickety Split. I can remember him picking me up, going to Lickety Split. I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. Um, I bought him a bottle of wine while we were there. And the sippings that you do, they would pair uh, champagne, chocolate, and... Champagne, chocolate, and caviar. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have $200 in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. You do not know where that money came from. I do know where it came from. It came from my sweat and tears. Democrats can't risk another Fanny freak show. They can't afford to delay this any longer, with it potentially collapsing just months before the election, when all of their other cases are already cracking or calendared. So the Democrats are panicking. The Trump-Russia prosecutor, of all people, Robert Mueller's right-hand man, is pressuring Fannie to drop out. This is such a huge body blow, almost a fatal blow to Fannie Willis. I think the way forward is she has to voluntarily recuse herself. I don't know that she has it in her, but I think she has to say, I'm going to yeah. appoint a chief assistant who's going to oversee this case. She clearly has no credibility with this judge. The luck of the Irish was all the Democrats had. Happy St. Patty's Day. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.